Yo, hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Mays again here. I'm here with uh, Michelle Bigley, uh, the author of Backroads and Byways uh, of Hawaii. And um, I just wanted to ask her a couple questions as far as what would you kind of say is kind of the best do's and don'ts about getting a local experience versus falling into like cheesy, turry, touristy, overpriced right. stuff? Well, it's hard to not fall into the overpriced stuff because Hawaii is really expensive. Um, you want to expect that you're going to pay like $10 for a gallon of milk. Um, but The basics. The basics, exactly. Yeah. It's really expensive. But the real authentic experience that you're going to find is when you go to places that locals go to, right? So at the beach, you know, if you don't go hang out at the resort beach, but you go to a real beach, right? Or you go to a farmer's market, or you go eat at the cheap for places like the local places yeah. instead of the like fancy forty dollars a place. Yeah, places. cafe spot versus exactly. hotel resorts. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's totally doable to like go to Hawaii and have an authentic experience where you're around a bunch of locals. Mm -hmm. You just have to be okay with not with getting out of the resort. Yeah, cool, yeah. Um, what kind of uh, would you have any kind of like uh, basic tips of people, you know, kind of under thirty five getting their foot in the door, getting that first. Absolutely, there, like, absolutely. Uh, I'd say the first place to go is to go to Oahu. Oahu is like the most interesting metropolis, that one of the most interesting metropolises I've ever been to. It's a merge of American culture, Hawaiian culture, Asian culture, just like South Pacific culture, Australian culture, New Zealand culture. So you've got this really interesting blend and there's a lot happening. So the yeah. party scene is going to be there. Yeah. Like that's where you're going to find really interesting cocktails that, you know, will They'll stay up all night and go dancing. There's great music, right? Uh, the other islands, they do get pretty sleepy, but even though it's sleepy, you get to make yeah. your own party, yeah. right? So Tired like, in paradise. So. Yeah, you just want to go to bed, right? You know, But that doesn't mean that after dark, you can't go and like bring your ukulele out into the beach and sing songs and you know drink beer, but don't tell anybody, right? <laughs> you know, so you can do it, but I'd say Oahu is your place. Right on. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, I wanted to ask you, um, you know, half the hurdle on a uh, Hawaii trip is the flight getting over there. So once you're on the flight over there, what's the best way to be able to bounce from island to island right, yeah. and uh, kind of make the most of you know a week or two over there? Right. Well, I'd say to make the most of a week or two over there is to not try to do too much because one of the the things that most people do when they go to Hawaii is they over plan their trip and then they need a vacation afterwards. <laughs> um, and so I'd say instead like. Focus on focus on one island and then pl plan to go back. But if you want to see more than one, then you're gonna you probably want to fly because there's not that many. There's only one ferry that operates from Maui to Molokai and Lanai, and it's pretty much the same price as it would be to fly to any of the islands, which you could totally do also. Um, and all flights are connected through Oahu, so you can fly. You can bounce around okay. from all of them, but unfortunately, there's not like the you know easy ferry that you bounce from island to island. Okay, cool. Uh, I know you wrote another book on Northern California, right? I did. Okay, I read cool. about Northern California. I'm originally from Sacramento, nice. also a Tahoe brat. Yeah. From back in the day. Awesome. Um, what would you? Uh, what would some of the you know a couple spots over there? In Northern uh, California. You, you would also recommend people check out while they're traveling. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I mean, you know, Northern California is like the bucket list is crazy. I mean, of course Tahoe, right? I mean, it's like skiing and hiking and everything. You know my new favorite place that I found was um, Gold Country. I went on a, a whitewater rafting trip to Gold Country last, last spring, like right when it was just, the season was getting started, and it rocked my world. Like it's like that adrenaline rush. Like, you know, and after you do it eight hours, you like go back to the camp, and there's live music, and there's beer, and there's food, and it's super fun, right? So I did that in Gold Country. Um, I also really got a dig in on um, the far north, north, like the Marble Mountains. Um, I went on a Bigfoot hunt up there. Nice. It was really fun. I, did, I know. I didn't find him though. I didn't find him. That was a good Yeti right there. Cool. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Right um, you know, and then of course there's beaches. I love Santa Cruz. Like I'm a sucker for a beach town. Yeah. You know? So that's always fun. Right on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um. Do you got a? Um. You want to show the book again? Yeah, and do, yeah. do you have a website or anything? Yeah. It's MichelleBigley.com. Okay. Cool. All right. Eric May signing out. Travel adventure. So San Diego, baby.